I know when you think of rice, you think of the Orient, don't you? But actually, down in the Caribbean, especially in Jamaica, they do eat a lot of rice. They do. Today we're going to talk about making shrimp and rice. I like it. And yes, it does have bacon. We're making Jamaican shrimp and rice. First, you want to cut up your bacon. Maybe about three rashers will do. And then you want to cook the bacon with about a half a teaspoon. Oh, may, okay, let's make it a tablespoon of oil. And yeah, just cook it well, the way you like your bacon. While the bacon is cooking, of course, you want to do this. You want to add tomatoes, garlic, dill peppers, onions, and scotch bonnet pepper. Be very careful with that. You just need about two, maybe three slices of scotch bonnet pepper. And that's it. This pepper is a pepper that you've got to respect. Then you want to add your chopped up tomatoes, garlic, bell peppers, onions, and scotch bonnet pepper in to your clarified onion and bacon, just like this, and stir well. Finally, you want to add your shrimp. Now, you just want to cook the shrimp until it's pink, and that's it. Mmm, boy, that looks good, doesn't it? And then you want to add two cups of rice. I like jasmine rice. And of course, two cups of water. And then you want to stir everything really, really well. On top of mine, I added some thyme and additional salt. And then I grabbed my camera, went out and shoot pictures while this was cooking. My rice will take about 25 minutes to cook. And keep in mind that while you're cooking it, you should stir it often. To make sure that everything is mixed in well. Anyway, while my rice is cooking, let's talk about one of my favorite hobbies. I enjoy looking at birds. Now, this is Mr. and Mrs. House Finch. Aren't they cute? Anyway, they sat around and had dinner together on my one dollar bird feeder with a pencil through it. If I had all the money in the world, you know what I would do? I would buy bird feeders and give them to kids, especially kids who live in the city. Because even if you live in the city, you've got to have a little backyard or some place that you can put up a bird feeder and attract the young, beautiful birds like this into your neighborhood. As a matter of fact, if there's ever a kid anywhere that's watching this video and you'd like to have a bird feeder, just write to me and I'll arrange to either send you a bird feeder or show you how to make a bird feeder. That's a promise, okay? my address is at the end of the video. Anyway, back to my finch. This one dollar bird feeder did not last very long so it had to be modified and patched up. And 25 minutes later my rice was done. Delicious and I enjoyed every morsel of it. Bon appetit until the next time. Bye.